What if Russia attacked Ukraine tomorrow? If you've been checking the news recently, then you've probably heard that Russia and Ukraine aren't in the best of relations right now. The two countries have had their differences for decades, and it seems as if Russia has finally had enough. To understand what would happen if Russia attacked Ukraine tomorrow, it's important to do a little history lesson on why Russia is considering attacking Ukraine in the first place. Most wars these days are fought over one very powerful and important resource, money. Typically, almost every conflict we see can be boiled down to human greed and the desire for more money and influence. Although this is certainly a factor here, I wouldn't say that's the main reason why Russia is interested in attacking Ukraine. The main factor here is history. You see, Russia and Ukraine, even though they're feuding right now, were once very close. So close, in fact, that they were basically one and the same. Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union and was governed by Russia. This is why if you trace the lineage of many of the Ukrainian people, you'll find that a few generations ago they were actually from Russia. Because of this, Ukrainian culture is very similar to Russian culture. Their capital city, Kiev, is said to basically be a whole nother Moscow or St. Petersburg. This isn't to say that Ukraine doesn't have their own rich and historic culture, because they certainly do. The thing with Ukraine, though, is that they've pretty much always been fighting for their independence. If you look back at Ukrainian history, there's really no no extended periods of time where this country is not under attack or under rule by another country. They just happen to be smack dab right in the middle of Europe in a highly contested area from a lot of strong neighboring countries. During the last century, they've suffered from several occupations, a full on genocide from Joseph Stalin, and tons of other atrocities that should really get discussed on the world stage a lot more. This adds to the fuel of the Ukrainian people and their deep and very warranted desire to be their own independent independent country. If we take a trip back to 1991, we saw this on full display when Ukraine had a vote for their independence. In that vote, 92.3% of people in Ukraine voted to be independent. Think about that, 92.3%. It's hard to get 92.3% of people to do anything, let alone vote on something as in a country's independence. Either way, Ukraine has been independent for just over 30 years and from all accounts, they want to keep it that way. Russia, however, has made their intentions of taking over very clear. Actions speak louder than words, and their actions in 2014 when they annexed the Crimean Peninsula showed the world exactly where their heads are at. The world let them get away with that, but it doesn't seem as if the rest of the world leaders are going to sit back and allow them to take over any more of Ukraine once again. So, with all that being said, what if Russia attacked Ukraine tomorrow? Okay, well, first off, I want to pump the brakes a little bit and say that I don't believe that Russia will be invading tomorrow, but it could be happening very soon. Joe Biden also doesn't think it could be happening tomorrow, but he's under the impression that things could go down in February. BBC writes about the potential of invasion by saying, US President Joe Biden has warned there is a distinct possibility Russia might invade Ukraine next month, the White House says. Russia, meanwhile, says it sees a little ground for optimism in resolving the crisis after the US rejected Russia's main demands. The buildup of tens of thousands of Russian troops on Ukraine's borders in recent weeks has stoked fears of an invasion. Russia denies it is planning an attack. The US president made the comments in a telephone conversation with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky on Thursday. President Biden said that there is a distinct possibility that the Russians could invade Ukraine in February, White House National Security Council person spokesperson Emily Horn said. He has said this publicly and we have been warning about this for months. During their talk, President Biden reaffirmed the readiness of the United States along with its allies and partners to respond decisively if Russia further invades Ukraine, a White House statement said. Mr. Zelensky said they discussed recent diplomatic efforts on de-escalation and agreed on joint actions for the future. So that's what the BBC wrote, and even though we can take solace in the fact that things may not be going down tomorrow, we also need to start worrying that these threats could be very real. If they attacked literally tomorrow though, then what are the immediate actions that would follow? Well, NBC News writes, With more than 100,000 Russian troops deployed on Ukraine's border, President Vladimir Putin is keeping the West guessing will he opt for a full-scale invasion or a more limited operation, or simply keep Russian forces in place to maintain pressure on Kiev and the West. Enjoying an overwhelming military advantage over Ukraine's smaller, less advanced forces, Russia has a variety of options if Putin decides to launch an 
attack, depending on what Moscow wants to achieve, the price it is willing to pay, and how the West responds, experts say. With Russia's formidable air and naval power, any offensive would most likely feature bombing raids, missile strikes, and cyber attacks that could devastate Ukraine's military infrastructure, disrupt communications, and pin down ground troops. There's an incredibly large force that's on the border, much larger than the one that invaded and annexed Ukrainians' Crimean Peninsula in 2014, said Philip Breedlove, a retired four-star U.S. Air Force general who was NATO's supreme commander from 2013 to 2016. You have a Ukrainian land army that's gotten much better, much more capable since 2014, said Breedlove, who is now at the Middle East Institute, a Washington-based think tank. But the Russians would own the air and the sea. So if Russia attacked tomorrow, we would most likely see how this war is going to shape out. Or are they trying to do small targeted attacks, or is this a full-on invasion with tanks and planes rolling in? Their type of attack would dictate the response from the Ukrainian people and the world. One thing is for sure though, Joe Biden came out and said it himself, and that is that NATO would have Ukraine's back. NATO is comprised of a bunch of powerful nations that are united in supporting Ukraine here. Russia knows that if they were to launch an attack on Ukraine, that NATO's response would be swift and unforgiving. In the last video we did about this, we looked at who would win between these two superpowers, and we concluded that NATO would definitely have the advantage, but it's not such an overwhelming advantage that Russia couldn't pull something out. If NATO does get involved like they say they will, then things could get very bad very quickly. Sanctions are already being heavily applied to Russia, and that's only going to get worse if we enter a full-on war with them. Also, if it is NATO versus Russia, this has real potential to get other superpowers involved. It seems silly to think that China is going to sit back and chill just watching the chaos unfold. One has to believe that they would get involved in the fray in some capacity as well, although it's hard to determine exactly how or what they would do. If Russia attacked Ukraine tomorrow, then I would also think travel is going to get restricted pretty fast. I'm not exactly sure how this would all go down, but depending on the severity of the conflict, I could see it being impossible to travel to Russia in the near future. It's also been said by the Western allies that they want to target Russia's economy if they were to invade. So it seems like the beginning plan would be to send in enough troops to stop Russia from progressing and then apply major sanctions and other things to create a chokehold over the country's economy. This could potentially be successful, but it's also been said that Russia may then just turn to China as a trade partner and go there instead. This is all speculative and very far down the line, so there are a lot of variables involved in whether this is going to happen or not. Here's the stuff that we know for sure. Russia has tens of thousands of troops stationed very close to the borders of Ukraine. These troops were moved here for a specific reason, one that Putin and Russia refused to tell the rest of the world. If Russia was to invade Ukraine and Ukraine received no help at all, Ukraine would most likely lose to Russia. However, if Russia was to invade Ukraine, then Ukraine wouldn't be by themselves and NATO would come to their rescue very quickly. After this though is when things get hazy. What other countries get involved is unknown and how far Russia wants to push this invasion is unknown as well. Ukraine still hopes they can resolve this with diplomacy, but at the end of the day, if Russia wants to own the country, then there really isn't any amount of diplomacy that can occur to stop them from trying to take it. Hopefully all of this is just a bunch of smoke and it doesn't actually happen because if it does, who knows how bad this scenario could get. But guys, please let me know in the comments down below what you think about this whole scenario and what you think is going to happen if Russia invades Ukraine tomorrow. I would love to hear your opinion on this as well. Also, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I'll catch you next time.